From the Cruise Radio Mobile Studio, this is Cruise News Today on Location with Doug Parker. Good morning, here's your cruise news for Friday, February 24th. Royal Caribbean is continuing to slowly roll out information about their 2024-25 cruise season. Most recently, they revealed that four different ships will be sailing from the Northeast, and three of those will be departing from New Jersey. Grandeur of the Seas is slated to sail from Boston between next September and November. Next up is Liberty of the Seas, which will do Canada and New England runs, varying lengths out of Cape Liberty between May and October of next year. And during that same period, Symphony of the Seas will be doing Caribbean and Bahamas runs. And lastly, Odyssey of the Seas will sail out of Bayonne between next November and February of 25, with each voyage including stops at Perfect Day at Coco Cay. And Princess Cruises has recently enhanced two of their previously existing amenities packages. The Princess Plus package now offers a beverage package covering drinks up to $15 each, also gratuities, and Wi-Fi for a single device. This will cost $60 per person per day. The Princess Premier package includes a beverage package that includes drinks up to $20 each, gratuities, and Wi-Fi for up to four devices, any digital photos taken by the staff, as well as three prints, two specialty restaurant meals, and some other things. This will cost you $80 per person per day. Guests wanting to bypass the amenities or pick and choose them can still book at the Princess Standard Fair, which is the basic cruise fair without the additional amenities. And the former Holland America ship Rhinedam has been acquired by the Greek cruise line Celestial Cruises. Originally built as the Rhinedam for Holland America line and more recently operating for p Australia, the 1,260-guest Celestial Journey, that's the ship's new name, will undergo an extensive $21 million refurbishment to receive technical maintenance before entering service. More details about the ship will be revealed soon. And the photo of the week comes from Alan Myers of the MS Rotterdam docked at Amber Cove right there in the Porta Plata region of the DR. It was taken in December. You can send your photos to Doug at cruiseradio.net. Remember, all photos are subject to broadcast. And cruise line stocks were down on Thursday. Carnival Corporation down 1.3%, 10.89. Royal Caribbean Flat, 71.71. .71. And Norwegian, down a half percent, 16.75. Breaking news and industry coverage at cruiseradio.net. It's finally Friday. I'm Doug Parker with Cruise News Today. Have yourself a great weekend.